Not to this point. He's on the ice, he's skating, he's going through the process. He has not been cleared for contact yet. He's not going to lay out for the first two games tonight? Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's out for tonight. Like, uh, it looks like Dan Heinen's a candidate to be on the, on the line with Evgeny and the target in place of Jason. Um, just what have you liked in Dan in the various times you've used him in that capacity? And just uh, what, what's been your assessment overall this season? It's been fairly productive. I think Denton's been a real good player for us. Uh, we've moved him up and down the lineup. Uh, he has good offensive instincts. Uh, he has finishing capability. And, uh, and, and he's a conscientious player. He can play on both sides of the puck. And so, um, you know, he's played really well as of late. Uh, and and we, we felt he was deserving of, uh, of the opportunity to play in the top six. He's, he's earned uh, that opportunity. Uh, through his performance, and so uh, he's 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 had a good year for us. He's I think he's had a career year in, in goal scored. And, you know, he he went through a stretch there where uh, it was a bit of a struggle for him to score, but he's worked extremely hard at his game as of late. I thought he finished the season really strong, uh, but but he's been a good player for us all year. He's got real good offensive instincts, um, but he's been a, he's been a good player on both sides of the puck, and I think that's an important thing to point out. Michael, if you go back to your first game that you played against these guys back home, uh, is that kind of the way that you need to play, the effort, the, the smarts, everything else that you showed that day? Well, we're gonna, we're gonna, have, to play a, a, we're gonna have to play a solid game. I mean, my recollection of that game, it was a long time ago, but it was yeah. a hard fought game. It was yes. a low event game. There, was, there wasn't a lot of ice. You had to fight for every inch out there mm -hmm. to, to, to create a scoring opportunity on both sides. It was a well-played game on both sides. Uh, that's what I would anticipate uh, the the type of uh, the type of game tonight. You know, this we know we're playing against a real good opponent. These guys, uh, they're good on both sides of the puck. They bring an element of team speed. They've got a dynamic power play, uh, and so we, you know, we know it's a tough challenge. You know, we're going to have to bring our our very best, and uh, I know we're capable of it. I believe our guys are excited about it. What do you guys have to do to get your dynamic power play? I just think it boils down to uh, you know to execution, you know decision making, things of that nature. You know the the one thing about our group is um, they're they're capable of a of a quick strike offense, and uh, our our underlying numbers on our power play for the majority of the year um, are very strong, and uh, the the underlying numbers actually suggest that the power play should be a lot better than it's been. Um, and a lot of times, you know, you can't always control whether the puck is in the net. What you can control is the process, uh, whether it be entries or shot attempts or uh, scoring chances or, um, you know, things, things of that nature. And, and a lot of the stuff that we measure behind the scenes from a process standpoint uh, suggests that our power play uh, is capable of being better than, than, it, than it actually presents itself right now. And, and knowing the players the way I know them, uh, I know what they're capable of. And, uh, and they're, um, this is the time of year that I think that they embrace it and, and they enjoy it the most. And, uh, and they've always shown an ability to elevate their games when the stakes are high. Mike, you talked about the win against them uh, earlier this year. What in the three losses against them do you take to maybe apply to this series? Well, there, there's a number of things. I'm not going to get into details on, on, on uh, you know, the discussions that we've had with our players and how we think we can improve our success. Um, you know, what I will tell you is that, um, you know, I think the, the playoffs is a is a whole new, uh, is a whole new season for both teams. So regardless of, uh, of where where teams were at, um, throughout the course of the regular season. Um, this is a clean slate. Everybody starts at zero, and 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 I believe we we have a team that's capable of having success. We believe in these guys. They're uh, they're an accomplished group, and uh, I know they're excited about the opportunity. We also understand the challenge in front of us that we're playing against a very good opponent. These guys are a real good hockey team, and we're going to have to be at our best to have success. Coach, when you're uh, faced with personnel decisions this time of year, how much does experience in the playoffs play into those decisions? I think it's one element, um, but you know, the, the, as far as you know, our, our roster or our lineup decisions, you know, the question that we're always trying to answer is which which 
you know, 12 forwards, six defensemen, and two goalies give us the best chance to win. That that that's as I, I know that sounds simplistic, uh, but that's the that's the question that we're trying to answer each and every day with our with our coaching staff, uh, with respect to the players that we have healthy and available to us. And uh, sometimes that changes uh, over the course of uh, over the course of time, game to game. But every single day after each experience, that's the question that we start with, and then we drill down into lots of details with respect to that. We try to answer that question. Mike. Uh... This course had a lot of success, but the last couple of postseasons haven't gone their way. Is that something you think can fuel them or motivate them, or do you see that more as a clean slate right now and they're just looking for some opportunity? It's probably a little bit of both. You know, I'm, I'm sure, you know, this is a proud group, and and uh, and I, I will tell you that. And uh, as far as the past experiences, um, you know, the, I, I think each, every year, you know, playoffs take on their own story. And there are different reasons over the years for some of the successes and some of the disappointments that we've had. Um, you know, I'd like to be—I'd like to believe that we're a forward-thinking group, and uh, you know, we're, we're not going to hold on to the past. We've already had discussions about those experiences and how we can grow and get better as as people and as a team. Um, but right now, we're we're looking at the challenge right in front of us, and we're excited about the opportunity. We also understand how difficult the challenge is. And I think our guys are real excited about it.